Hey everyone, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorial videos for ME1000. Let's get started with lesson one, an introduction to the SOLIDWORKS environment. We'll start by creating a new part. This will take us to the main SOLIDWORKS screen. There are tons of buttons and menus. Each one does something, and we want to learn what they do. The best way to start is to divide them into categories. First, we have the main menu bar. This contains the new, which creates a new document. You can open documents, save the document, print it. You can undo or redo. You can rebuild the document. You can find the properties and options. The next grouping is the command manager. The command manager has different tabs. The features and sketch are the ones that we're going to use the most in this lab. The features I like to look at is all of the 3D tools. And then the sketch tab is the 2D tools. Next is the graphics area. The graphics area is this big area in the middle that contains the space where you'll create your parts. Next is the feature manager design tree. It contains a list of everything that you create and all the tools you use for it. This makes it easy to find things and modify them later. There's also tabs under that, one of which is the property manager. The property manager has instructions and different things that you'll need as you use the tools. Next is the heads up toolbar. This has buttons that you'll use as shortcuts to change the views and do different things with your part. Next is the task pane. And this is where we can find special files from our computer and from the internet. Next is the status bar. The status bar down here shows us what exactly we're doing. Right now we're editing, editing a part. And last is the reference triad. This shows which way's up and how our part is oriented. We'll use all of these buttons in a little bit, but this is a quick overview of what they are. Next, let's go over a few of the ways that we can adjust the interface to make it more simple. Let's start with the command manager. You can see under the command manager that there's a lot of different tabs. If we right click, we can see all of the tabs that are available for us. Let's say that we work a lot in sheet metal. If we add the sheet metal tab, we have all the sheet metal tools available for us. Let's say that we never use the dimension expert tool. We don't want it to clutter up our screen, so we'll go ahead and take it out. We'll do the same for the office projects. And let's take the sheet metal back out. And since in this class, we'll be using the features in sketch the most, we'll leave those in and we'll use the evaluate later. Next, let's look at the heads up toolbar. This contains a lot of the shortcut buttons that we want to use all the time. They're right by the graphics window, so they're easy to reach. To add more of these, we can go to Customize and Commands, and we'll have a lot of buttons that are available for us to put in. Let's go to the Standard Views, and one that I like to use is the Normal 2 button. You'll see me use it a lot in the future videos. So we'll put that one in. We'll also put the Isometric View in. And then we can also take them out the same way. I'm going to take away some of these zoom tools because I usually do it with my mouse. So we'll take those out. You just click and drag. And we've got them out. Then we'll hit OK and it will update it for us. The last thing we want to look at is how to change units. This is one thing that we'll have to do often. So we go up to Options and if we go over to Document Properties, we'll find the units right here on the left. And right now we're in millimeters. If we click on the inches, now all of our units will be in inches. The last thing we want to talk about is not being afraid to click on things. If you click on buttons, you'll know what they do. If you hold your mouse button over those buttons, then it will give you an idea of what that tool does. Most of the buttons here in SOLIDWORKS will tell you what they do. Also, if you click on something and it changes your part and you don't want to keep that change, you can always hit the undo button. The undo button is up here, but also you can use control Z. You can learn a lot by clicking on things and seeing what these buttons do. Thanks for listening to lesson one. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos for this series.